Robert Hetap. I am the assistant mill manager. Um, welcome to Hagita Mill. Um, right now, we are standing up at the ramp where we uh, unload uh, FFB trucks that comes in from the mill, um, uh, from the field. Um, basically, what we do in the mill in a day, um, we receive FFB from the mill, fresh fruit bounces from the uh, from the field. Uh, it is way through the way bridge. Um, comes up to the ramp and then uh, it's dumped in the, uh, on the ramp and then it's been transported into the mill through Converse. Um, we have four 40-ton um, uh, sterilizers like a cooking pot. Uh, we cook them, cook the sterilizers for um, 90 minutes, one hour, uh, and then uh, we strip them. Um, uh, basically, um, the fruits plants have been pressed uh, from there, we get uh, crude oil and then uh, nuts. Uh, the crude oil is further processed uh, and uh, uh, purified and dried to produce a uh, crude palm oil, which is uh, stored in our tanks in the mill and it's been transported uh, 25 kilometers down to a uh, parking terminal where we store there at our uh, parking terminal facility. Uh, from the nut, uh, we crack in our nut crackers and then uh, we dry them and press them at a kennel crossing plant and then uh, we produce uh, palm kennel oil so in the mill uh, we produce two uh, separate uh, oil products palm kennel oil and uh, uh, crude palm oil both have uh, different prices and different properties uh, both are transported down to the bulking uh, terminal, we store them there and on schedule, say monthly or two monthly, whenever the schedule is, um, we have a shipment that comes in from our contracted buyers and we load them and uh, yep. that's basically our job. So from the mill, um, FFB comes to the field where we process them and then uh, put them in the tank and put them on the uh, ship. Um, we have 166 uh, full-time workers. We have three production shifts. Um, the mill started in uh, 1990 as a 30 tonner. Uh, changed hand and uh, went through, through um, several um, upgrades. We went from uh, 30 ton to 45 to 60. And then in 2017, uh, we have uh, upgraded to uh, 80 ton per hour, uh, which means uh, we can process 80 ton of um, uh, uh, FFB uh, per hour. So, uh, in the company uh, Sangara Mill uh, in Popondeta and Hagita Mill, we are the biggest mill, both are rated at 80, 80 tons per hour. Uh, our other sister mill are 75, 60, and 30. So, yeah. Um, we are going through a lot of uh, changes in the mill recently. In the last two, three years, we're trying to um, uh, improve our upkeep our safety um, and the basic presentation. Uh, just this year, we received our uh, HACCP or um, Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point uh, 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 audit, which means uh, we are a certified uh, food producing mill. Uh, so it was a, a bonus for us. Uh, we are also round table sustainable or RSPO certified mill. Uh, whatever we do in the mill, uh, we comply to all relevant, um, you know, uh, laws and regulation um, guiding safety, well-being, uh, and harm to the environment uh, as much as possible. We control our waste uh, uh, and keep the, you know, our operation sustainable, clean, and safe. Product. Yeah. Basically, that's all. Mm -hmm. So, how long does it? How long is the process from FFB to oil? Um, one day. Ah, boss. Yeah, one day. One day. So within uh, one. We can, we, can, we can process about eighty ton power. Eighty ton power. Within the eighty ton, uh, within that one hour, we can produce say, about um, twenty ton. Oil. Okay. And uh, you mentioned about wh where's your terminal in Alatau? Uh? Yeah. Down in uh, town, Alatau. Okay. Town, yes. All right. It's quite, uh, so in a day we can process uh, about 1,900 metric ton of FSB. Yeah. That's the highest we've done. Uh, right. We've also yeah. set some record in the last two years. Yeah, we yeah. process about 1,900 yeah. ton metric 
मेट्रिक तन पटी इस आवाज़ ये प्रोडक्शन मोस्ट ऑफ़ आई एम्प्लॉयज़ आर लोकल ओनली आवर मैनेजर इस डी एक्सपर्ट हियर वी गोट अ गुड ट्रेनिंग प्लान फॉर आवर वर्कर्स वी गोट सम अप्रेंटिस देर वी गोट अ मिक्सर ऑफ़ एम्प्लॉयज़ � 10% from out of province. Yeah, so it must bring you a lot of sense of pride to be bringing in money into the country. Yep, exactly. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. And uh, it's a good feeling to be directly bringing in money into the country like this. Yeah. Yep, um, so, also, um, I think um, Milan Bay State employs about three to 5,000 workers. So. Uh, we on a payday, um, most of the economy or money in the province is, you know, centered around our operation. And our um, pay goes into the pocket and goes straight to the village, the people, and, you know, benefits the community and the people. Yeah, so it's good. Unlike, you know, the flying flyer people, they get money somewhere and spend somewhere. Yeah, it's a community-based company, a money stays in the yeah. province, in the place here. Thank you. Uh, any uh, apart from the oil, any other side uh, side products that you c comes out of the mill? Um, uh, sorry. Yeah, we have a uh, plan for produce PKE expeller. That's a waste from the kernel. That can feed the animal feeds. Mm. So it's in the plan now. Uh, we have a buy already. So it's a uh, it's our our plan now. By hopefully by another year time we should have that plan. Then we can produce another additional uh, product, uh, except from CPO and PKO. We have one more product coming soon. It's a expeller. Uh, do you also uh, produce uh, feed for cattle like what they're doing in West New Britain it's, and in Rambo? Yeah, that's, that's that's our plan yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, uh, the the plan not ready yet. Yeah. It's it's up, uh, under budget budgetary now. Once budget approved. We we'll put up a, a plant, then we start to produce the expeller for exporting. But we have the buyers already now. That's in our future plan. Very good. Yeah. Okay, uh, one good thing to know also, um, um, our electricity demand here is uh, renewable. So we we process the fruit. We get um, uh, the fruit lab when we press. This is called a fiber. We dry this one. And we use this one as fuel. So we got two uh, boilers, one uh, 35 ton per hour and one 45 ton per hour boilers that we use to produce steam and drive a steam turbine. We produce about uh, 1.9 megawatts of uh, yeah. electrical energy that we use to um, use in our machinery for the milling process. So uh, we use uh, renewable energy. Uh, in the future, we also have uh, plans for biogas. Bio uh, so like biogas, uh, the system is like uh, from the waste from the mill, sludge, going to effluent pond. The service it can create the methane gas. So we'll capture the methane gas, then we convert to uh, produce the to, to create the gen engine to run to create the power. Yeah. That's how the biogas system. Works. Yeah. So that's also in our future plan. Yeah, most probably by next year. All waiting for the budget to approve. Yeah. It's about 22 million project, so let's take time to you know get approval. That's part of our work plan. Okay, so since you produce your own electricity, when there's blackout in Alota, you don't have to worry. Yeah. When there will go blackout, only for maybe five minutes, two minutes, <laughs> one minute, thirty seconds. If uh, there is process upset, that's in the our compound here, yeah. yeah. not Alota. No. <laughs> yeah, oh, you, so you don't supply into the no, main no, grid no, 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 no